Describing something of little importance or trivial, we are looking at how to pronounce petty. Watch me take off with this pettiness, yeah Make a post, watch it take off like a rocket ship Hey, check my comments, all of these people they savages, yeah Don't come in here, talk to me if you can't handle it, nah I'm on a mission, they in they feelings, they only hear shots ringing out Taking their personal lead, that's what I'm talking about, petty It's your boy KD Dollar with the Petty Podcast Show, and I got my homeboy Figaro Bonchi in this motherfucker. Hey, hey, brother. Oh, I feel blessed. How we doing, Bonchi? I feel so blessed. You feeling blessed right now? Yeah, man. What we want to know at the Petty Podcast Show is what is the pettiest thing that you have been through in 2022. Oh, Lord. I think everybody want to know what Bonte went through. I do. I do. Yeah. What's the pettiest thing pettiest that happened to you in the year 2022, bro? Yes, sir. The pettiest thing that happened to Bonte this year was watching what happened with my people this year. What happened, bro? Oh, Lord. Let me, let me, let me. Let, Speak to the mic. Let, let me take it to uh, 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 Kanye. Oh, goddamn. Goddamn Kanye West. Huh? Let me Kanye, take... you a goddamn fool. Now watch this. This shit gonna be a little different, though. Okay, go ahead. The pettiest thing that happened to me was watching them try to assassinate a black man that decided to get up to the top where the kings and queens was and speak to his people about something so true. So you on Kanye's side? Oh, yes, I am. There's a lot of people that is not on Kanye's side. And I'm going to tell you why. Tell me why, because I want to know why you on Kanye's side and why this is the pettiest thing that you feel happening in 2022. The pettiest thing that ever happened in 2022 for me watching Kanye was that this, this black Hebrew Israelite man, watch this, watch this family, stay with me. This this black man walking into his awakening of his true identity. Uh, you know, Kanye said that uh, most of us think that black people started here during slavery and all we know is slavery. Yeah. And so when Kanye tried to educate us black people, Negroes, blacks, uh, uh, what's the other word they call us? Negroes. Negroes. Uh, 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 other shit. Petty. Kanye tried to expose this on the highest level, and he went and attacked the media, the people that are powerful in controlling media, so he could wake his people up and say, go read a book, because our history here in America didn't start with slavery. He was saying, go look and see what you were before you got here, because you know, black people don't know where they are from, right? Us slave children after freedom didn't get a new class in our high school to teach us where we was from. They didn't teach us our true identity. And so as this black man in America is trying to tell the world who Negroes truly are before slavery, they call him anti-Semitic. Petty. They call him anti-Semitic. And as I was watching the video, you know what I wanted Kanye to do? Yeah, tell me. I wanted Kanye to pull up the definition of Semitic and give it to the world. The definition of Semite, I wanted him to just put the definition up there yeah. and shut the fuck up. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why. Right. I'm going to tell you why. Tell me why. Because the truth speaks for itself. 
You give people the definition of Semite? What is, what is the definition of Semite, bro? A Semite comes from the African and Arabic tribes of people, the nomads that lived in the lands of Egypt, Ethiopia, Palestine, before these people claimed it. It's now heavy. Watch this. It's heavy. Watch this. Well, go ahead. It's a history lesson. If black people don't know their history, it's because somebody stole your identity. Petty. Now watch this. They gonna call this show anti-Semitic. Because I'm gonna say one word that you should never say as a black man. What's and that, that word is shoot. Woo! All right. So let's touch base with Bonte real quick. I'm gonna look you in your face, you look me in mine. If you don't know what Kyrie Irving was talking about on that, on that movie he, he posted, go look at the movie and then come say if you think the movie is anti-Semitic. But if you don't know what anti-Semitic means, go find out what Semitic means. Go find out what a Semite is. And then you can argue with that man and say it's anti. But when he said, because I know who I am, I can never be a anti-Semite, he know who we really are. And they know who we really are. You hear what I'm saying? Somebody took our place. Somebody took our history. Somebody's an imposter. Somebody took our history. Thank you. Petty. Somebody stole our history. So. And you said somebody, somebody is an imposter. Imposters. In the land of the Holy Land, God's land. Somebody's acting like his chosen people. When Revelations chapter 2 verse 9 say, Ooh. I know those who claim to be, I ain't going to say the word, but are not but are the synagogue of Satan. Uh, <laughs> this Amen. is the awakening now. Amen. Because the God, Hallelujah. watch this, <laughs> because the God that want to claim black people in America is not the one that we've been worshiping in these churches. He's an idol. He's a man. But the God of Israel that freed them Israelites from Egypt, he know who we are. Mike goes down. That's deep. I, 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 didn't, I didn't expect to get this deep. <laughs> but he got deep. Petty. one bishop bishop this one bishop right he asked me to come play for him so i said you know you know could i do him a favor and i'm like you know i mean you know favors call you, I, I gave too many people Fact. three favors so this time it's going to cost but Fact. you know i hook you up you know what i'm saying so he said cool now he uh imagine here to columbus okay you gotta drive all the way there. Oh wow. Okay. His service gonna at least be two, three hours, right? Cool. Okay, so you you, you, you you divide and add and then you do a lot of subtracting because you said you're gonna hook them up. So you know <laughs> you can't you can't just give them 25% off. They, In fact, you gotta give them 75% off. Oh they wow. Okay. So I said, you know, 125, which that ain't nothing. Right. Because I know some musicians they ain't they ain't 
they ain't leaving their house unless you sign a contract and you're going to give them a $250, uh, you know, That's facts. Get there. That's facts. We talking about $50. Patty. Patty. $50? Hey. What? I say, man, do I look like a crackhead to you? <laughs> hey, this bishop is high. I say, you ain't gonna pimp me, pimp. <laughs> I say, get the devil behind me. At so, all. Don't say that, but I, yeah, that's petty, though. That's petty. That's petty as the fuck. Petty. Hey, man, listen. It's K Red Signature Apparel, aka Coach Motherfucking Chronic. Yeah. And y'all know I'm petty as fuck. Hell yeah. Let's get it. Let's get it. Goddamn right. Y'all know I've been holding the mic for a long time, so I don't hold the mic like most niggas. I ain't gonna grab this motherfucker like this here. Like, nigga. No, 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 no. Petty. No, nigga, you got to grab that motherfucker. You understand, yeah, man? Let me tell you something, and I'm gonna pull that motherfucker mic back like this here so you can hear that motherfucker do what it's supposed to do. You understand? Let's, Let's talk about it. it. Let's talk about it. Hello. Okay. It's your boy KD Dollar on the Petty Podcast Show, and I got a special motherfucking guest right here. Man, we got my listen. man, hold Coach Crock. Nah, nah, nah. Hold on, hold on. I gotta nah, introduce you right, bro. Nah. Listen. Tell me. Tell me how they do it. Nigga, this shit was. I first came home from prison. This nigga was the first nigga to introduce me I did. to the motherfucking world. I did. At the car wash. <laughs> KD motherfucking dollar, guys. Yeah. KD motherfucking dollar. I man. did. Bitch. <laughs> yeah. I had dreadlocks. I had a big ass t shirt on. My man, Coach Chronic, man. What it do, Grim? What's good? What's good? Man, a DYT vet. Y'all ain't hearing me. Petty. But no, on a serious yeah, tip, yeah. I got a real serious, important yes, person yes, in the city here. We talking yes, about sir. Coach Chronic. Yes, we, sir. we grew up to this nigga's music, yo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, and he sir. has developed into a straight powerhouse yes, sir. of yes, an sir. entrepreneur. Yes, sir. With yes, K-Red. Sir. Yes, sir. Apparel. Am, yes, sir. am, I, am, I, am I lying? K-Red signature apparel around this motherfucker. Signature. Yeah. Don't get it twisted, Dollar. Yeah, yeah. You can't signature get it. You can't get it nowhere else. But from K Red. You can't go to a store. Phenomenal! Phenomenal! You got to get it from me. Okay, so or I got my mobile outlet store. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I got a question to ask you, K Red. What is the pettiest thing that's gonna happen to you in 2022, bro? Tell the I'm, audience. Listen, I'm moving my drinks. Far <laughs> away from me so I can say this shit. Say it, brother. Listen here, I'm, I'm sick of you petty-ass niggas <laughs> not allowing y'all <laughs> women to wear my clothes. Ho hold you up, hold up. You sick of niggas not allowing your women, their women to wear your clothes? Yeah, listen, nigga, I fuck out of town, bitches. I'm an out of town hoe, OK? <laughs> I don't fuck bitches in Dayton. All my hoes is out of town. Yo bitch is safe, nigga. Yo bitch Let is safe. Let me wear my motherfucking clothes. <laughs> fuck is wrong with you niggas? Petty. I live here. I don't shit where I motherfucking. You understand me? Are you serious, man? Hey, hey, they said, listen, niggas won't let their bitches wear my panties. Are you serious? Hey, bitch, you better not come home wearing that nigga drawers. All he want to do is clothe your women. He don't want to fuck your women. No. <laughs> I probably done already did it long, long, long time ago. But still, Petty. but still, but still, <laughs> nigga, you petty. Petty. Nigga, if you mad because every time you go in the house, my, my, my stories is on your girl's uh, Facebook. Bitch, that's Facebook, ho. Listen, I can't help it I be naked all the time. I don't like clothes. Your girl like them, though. Petty. They mad because you clothing they women? Yes. Hey, they, hey, hey, women tell me all the time, my nigga said, bitch, you better not come home in no K-Red. <laughs> Yo, do you know how special that is? That means he is doing his damn thing. 
Hey, hey, hey. Listen, my thing is this, man, on some real shit. All I'm trying to do is what I've been doing. And that's work like a master with no slaves around okay. this moment. So let, let's, let's get serious. Let's, yeah. let's ask a real serious question before All we right. go. Let's go. Honestly, what is the biggest problem but outside them haters? Right. What's the biggest obstacle you have with selling your clothes outside of the men hating on your clothing? Like, like, let's talk to the world no, no, no. about selling apparel. Okay, How okay, 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 okay. Apparel, okay. Brother? So here, here's the biggest obstacle, and this is petty as fuck too. So this works out. Quit asking me if my clothes is true to size. Oh, when you ain't true to size. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna need, listen. Give me an example. All I need y'all to do is what I had to do was learn fabrics, learn goddamn it, uh, measurements and shit. Like, I know what a small, medium, large XL is. Bitch. <laughs> you are not a large. What is she? Larger than large. Petty. Hey, large march around this motherfucker. Hey. Hey, he's I, petty to mama. Hey, listen. He petty to mama. Hey, hey, I'm, I'm only being petty because I'm on the petty podcast. Bottom line. <laughs> petty. And I'm with my guy, Cuzzo T. Motherfucking Hunt. What's that? Man? What's that? Man? Hey, hey, this is Cuzzo right here. Back to McFarland days. Yeah, long, 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 long time ago. Oh, McFarland. That's yeah. throwback, bro. Big throwback. Straight throwback. Black hey, dickies and white uh, uh, polos. Hey. They weren't necessarily dickies and polos. But hey, we and, clean, though. We and clean. we was. We was and Miss White. The, uh, oh, that was a crazy ass teacher, though, bruh. Man, I thought she was gonna eat you one. Day. <laughs> yeah, I, I did. Petty. I was a good kid. I was a good kid. Me too. Yep. Me too. Okay. Okay. Fine. Whatever. Fine. Whatever. Fine. So she was gonna be petty ah, and not give me that fast. Petty. We was good. We was good kids. <laughs> we was good. We was good. So, Hunt, tell us. What is the pettiest thing that has happened to you ever or this year? Ever, this ain't even a petty is, but, but one of them. This is the first one I can think of. <laughs> this, this was back in my player days. You feel oh, me? player. Yeah, so I like, like, you know, you had your set day. Okay. Come through on your day. Okay. And it won't be no situations. Okay. Okay. So we good. So Tuesday come through. She get to use the L words, like and shit like that. I'm like, no, no, can't do oh. that. So oh. Thursday come around, I'm, having, I'm just being honest. This, I was young, you feel me? Right. Thursday come around, we got Thursday over there. I'm not gonna make this shit up. Whatever, whatever. Thursday go to sleep, knock on the door. I'm like, who the fuck at the door? It's my neighbor. Oh, I thought it was Saturday. No, nah, it was my neighbor. My neighbor <laughs> like, bro, what's this? So I look down. It looked like a whole bunch of shit. Like somebody just came and dumped a whole bunch of shit in my front door. But what it was, what it ended up being, ended up being wet dog food. Petty. Man. The two ladies came through and put wet dog food at my door. Oh, she was so, salty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like, so, so, what she know told your me, life. what the fuck is this in my door? I, I, I was laughing for real. She like this dog food. So I That's, know, I got his wet dog food. So I thought that was like some funny petty shit. That's I fucked up. Bitch out, I just cut her off. That's super and I petty. I quit being a player. <laughs> you stopped being a player after that? Something like that. So sad. Petty. Hey guys, if you don't know my cuzzo, this is Team Motherfucker Hunt Dayton's own. Rapper, bro. Rapper, tell them where they can follow you at, my guy, and listen to your music. Yeah, T-Hunt. I'm on iTunes. I'm on 
on Spotify. I'm on YouTube. I got videos on YouTube. I, I'm everywhere. Everywhere I need to be, I'm on there. You can check me out. I got videos coming. Grosso Holic video coming soon. Date shit video coming soon. I'm working. AKA Say I'm working. Russell, King Russell Howley, you understand me? Say booked and busy, West Side! West Side! <laughs> That's my guy! What is that? Let me see your, that that's enough? All right. Check check it out. Oh, look, oh, check the hat. Check the hat. Listen, this is the Dallas corner. This is where you want to be. Right here at the Dallas corner. This is where you want to be. This is where you want to be at if you want to be a winner. Can you tell the people? I got a question. What is the pettiest thing that has happened to you ever or this year? The pettiest, the pettiest thing. I know it got to be about some Steelers somewhere. Well, the pettiest shit happened to me is these petty ass motherfucking uh, Eagles that's playing tonight. Hey. That I'm praying that these motherfuckers fall off tonight so we can step on them and break this up and knock they got going on. That's what needs so, to happen. That's been like the worst thing happened to me in the football league this year. Okay, that's the, the Eagles. The Eagles. The Eagles. Fuck them. Fuck the Eagles. <laughs> Petty. Getting in. This is a Petty Podcast. We just want to ask you a simple question. We know you out here macking holes and so, throwing bowls, nigga. So you need to know the pettiest story that happened to me, right? It was the pettiest shit that's done happen to you this that, month, this year. That motherfucker Polo. Oh. Asked me for a chicken wing. Oh. Ate the whole fucking dinner. <laughs> Ain't the whole dinner. Ain't the whole damn thing. 
She you give niggas an inch, they take a mile. Petty. What's the pettiest thing that has happened to you this year or ever? Oh, my baby daddy called the police on me. Oh. And he said that I abandoned our daughter at the park with him. Oh, he's so I, a snitch. Yeah, he sells drugs. That's even sadder. <laughs> Petty. But what's his name? No, I'm just playing. Don't say oh, it. Don't I will say tell it. you. You don't want the social no. tool to birth? No. Don't say it. I'm just playing. Don't say he it. The, I'll, I'll get y'all Don't say it. No he man. the only drug dealer I know that sells food on the side of the road. <laughs> she fuck with a Mexican, y'all. Oh, Cornell. She fucks <laughs> with a Mexican, guys. Say yo, Cornell. Petty. He called the police on you and said you abandoned your baby <laughs> at the you park. Why this to me? Okay. So what that happened was my daughter... You know, I don't talk bad about my kids, father in front of them. So to them, they're Superman. Right. So she wanted to see her father. We met at Shaftesbury Park because he live off Cornell. Um, so people are going to figure out who this is real quick. And Did this make the news? No, but me, I broke his okay. window and me and the police were laughing. Oh, Lord. I said, what do you want me to do? Show you the birth certificate? Because, like, how do you abandon your child with their father? Like, right. And I just went to the store. I just went to Cornell Meat King to get some juice. So you Jasmine Sullivan, you bust the windows out of his car. No. <laughs> Petty. His little 19-year-old girlfriend, he little R. Kelly, so his little 19-year-old girlfriend was talking shit behind a wrought iron fence. Oh. And I don't do that. And I couldn't get to her. Oh. I'm not crazy, though. Well, this won't incriminate you now, will it? No, it's already over with. Okay, well, good. Me and the police was laughing, because, again, how do you abandon your child at the park with their father. Like, yeah. It's not abandonment. That's stupid. And That's I went petty. five seconds. Right. Ain't that petty? That's so petty. Yeah. So me being petty would be getting on this podcast and saying that. Everybody... Oh, my God. <laughs> his, his mom is the one who's in the cook. I'm going to be quiet. Take, take the mic. Take the mic. We, we got to go. Petty. They only hear shots ringing out Taking their personal lead That's what I'm talking about Patty Cool, I'm a fan Felt like the man With this Patty shirt I got Swag crush out the box Just a compliment my top They hating, I worry I got them I know what it's like from the bottom That's why I came up But this money, it just keep on coming